And now, starting night two, welcome back to Japan for part two, night two of NHW Honor Battle. And now, coming to the ring, you the saw the. It's scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Honolulu, Hawaii. Weighing in at 198 pounds, Pratt Cannon. And pre pre Cannon, that's I'm gonna go with that. Um, is coming to the ring, a debuting superstar. Um, and look, listen, he approached us and was like, "Let's make this happen." We couldn't turn him down. You know what I'm saying? He's uh, he's actually been sought after a little bit in the world. You know, our our uh, brother company, sister company, whatever you want to call it, PWR, had a good look and was like, "Ooh, I like it." Um, of course, we saw him and or see him, and you know, he's in our ring now. Um, but we also, uh, you know, we'll see what he can do, how he will move forward. He will be facing tonight a uh, man who you will be seeing more of in the coming weeks, uh, and that is RJ Kid coming out here to get this work and uh, or <laughs> to get the to give the work. That blah, 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 blah. I'm on English one of these freaking days. Um, and uh, oh. Uh, is that is that card subject to change happening? No, it's not. Okay, all right, we're, we're good. We're good. We're good. Anyway, um, <laughs> and now coming to the ring, of course, is his opponent, R.J. Kidd, and everybody. Look, listen, the, the Ken Washington has a special place in his soul for R.J. Um, from Asbury Park, New Jersey, weighing in at two hundred. 30 pounds, the anti-hero R.J. Kidd. And R.J. Kidd, I really, I really feel like it, if the boss was to put together a group, I'm, I'm just going to say I believe that R.J. would be one of them in that group. And I don't know, Ken's been kind of uh, uh, quiet with, with what he's been doing lately. He's been kind of a uh, off a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Like he's a, he's a fair boss. I guess, um, but he's also not the GM, so, you know, if he signs a competitor's contract, even though he is the owner, he will be a competitor and under the competitor rules, and with what happened last night with, uh, with, uh, Ray Lethal, um, hey, he could be putting together a squad, uh, and it wouldn't be the Ego Powers. But anyway, here we go. There is pre. There is RJ. There's the ref. And here we go. And oh, starting off introducing him to the bottom of his foot. One. Only a one count. And here we go. Ooh, big shot. Takes him down to his knee. And ooh, just a straight right hand. Because now he's going to try to stretch him out a little bit. And now stomping his soul into the ground. And the everybody and me. I'm going to continue to call it that because 2K22 ruined that knee. And now pre-giving knees of his own to RJ. Oh, and a double foot stomp. Working on that midsection early. Oh, knife edge chop. And whoo! The shot to the head there, taunting a little bit to the crowd, might not be in his best interest, or it might. Hell, who knows? Look at this as he caught him into the German suplex. And RJ, ooh, RJ once challenged for the world's championship. Um, he has challenged once or twice for what was once the TV championship. Um, never for the tag titles. Um, actually, never for the first blood either, or the European. So there's a couple titles he's went for, but he's never, you know, he found his way into those situations. Good roll through there. Man, Pre, ooh. And look at how Pre is just no-selling his offense. But at some point, the pain is going to have to take over. Good double underhook suplex there, though. 
And now oh, takes him down. And the neck twist, neck crank, whichever one you'd like to call it. Now he lifts him up and kick right between the angel's wings. And now going to do a little monkey flip with the arm action. RJ going to roll out of the ring. And catch his breath. Or not. As Pre decided to go airborne, get him some frequent flyer miles, and catches him straight, goes for that spinning heel kick again. And Pre on the offensive, taking him or throwing him into the ring. And ooh, throwing hands. Oh no. Oh, a little German action. The Pele kick. And that double foot stops to the middle again, or the, to the midsection again, as the ref is at the count of two. And as we love to tell you, double underhook suplex, that's not what we love to tell you, but we do love to tell you that we are utilizing that 10 count. And you can see the whelp starting to show up on RJ's chest and back area as he is getting in the ring. And boy, he's been, his midsection's been through it. He might have abs of stone, but... I mean, Pree's not without injury, but they're clear. Whoa, the German suplex. He flipped through it. RJ able to catch him again off guard. And, ooh, gets caught up. Oh, clothesline. Clothesline. Duck under. Thrust kick right to the mouth. And now he's going to the corner. And I'm not sure what he's waiting for there, Pre in the corner. Ooh, he went. Yeah, I think he took too long with the taunts. And there's a drop kick to the midsection. And now, oh no, the half and half. Oh no, able to get through. Reverse it into the arm drag. And a big knee to the face there. These two having a great matchup going back and forth. And there's a big back suplex there. Dropped him right on his neck if you was really looking. And now going to introduce the back of his head intimately into the canvas. And then, ooh, a kick. And oh, he's of the 1%. One, two. Only a two count. And RJ Kidd is beside himself trying to get on. Trying to get on. Oh, on track this year and I feel like a Claymore is incoming yes it is hooks the leg just far enough to where he can't reach the ropes and RJ Kidd able to put away pre cannon in his debut matchup has not been a good weekend for debuts but um, he didn't get him there but that that Claymore kick rocket kick whichever one you like and then slid smartly right into the pin. And there you Your have it. The anti-hero RJ Kidd. The anti-hero has won. Congratulations to him. As we move on, we still got six more matches tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a triple threat match. Yes, we do. A triple threat match for the European Championship. What started off as two is now three. The following contest is an elimination match and is for the European Championship. Introducing the challenger from Chicago, Illinois, weighing in at 203 pounds, Cody Yamamoto. And Cody Yamamoto's uh, sister main evented last night and was unable to capture the or unable to hold on to the Eminence Championship. Uh, but we'll see if Cody is able to capture that European Championship. And he's already made uh, some statements as far as, you know, a little move, we'll call it. Yeah, a little move that he is trying to have or trying to make. And we actually don't blame him, you know what I mean? It kind of all depends on how this goes, but we, we do know that uh, he's got some uh, some issues with some people. And uh, yeah, we're probably going to see those come to pass as his opponent, uh, Kojak, the natural.
uh, won his way into this match because Cody was occupied with and Rick Richards. From Mount Olympus, weighing in at 245 pounds, the natural. And, you know, uh, Kojak, you know, he, he won his way into this match, as I said, um, by defeating the man that is already in the ring, Cody Yamamoto. And we're, we're not going to sit here and pretend like that wasn't a big victory for him. You know, Cody has been focused on Rick Richards since Rick won the the European champ. I was about to say the world championship. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, the European championship. Um and he even cut a little promo on him was like listen it's gonna be me and you but it's not him and him and him um it is uh kojak him and richards and we'll see what happens with that i mean you know kojak has been um a light heavyweight championship before as you see he put on a little bit of muscle um <clears throat> Um, he challenged for the first blood title. It didn't go too well. He challenged for it. Former TV champion as well. as a long time ago. But he was former TV champion. And now, had kind of, ooh, that English now coming to the ring is the reigning defending European champion. And that is Rick Richards. And ladies and gentlemen. The champion residing in Hollywood. Weighing in at 260 pounds, he is the European Champion, the Maverick Rick Richards. And as you can see, the Maverick Rick Richards has gone through a little bit of a change. Even it looks like he signed his own sunglasses. He's definitely in love with himself. Um, but yeah, you know, he's, he's been through a little bit of a change. You know, championship gold will change you. Um, he is a former PWR World Heavyweight Champion. Um, he is now a uh, P, uh, NHW European Champion. He is out here doing his thing, collecting gold where he goes. And, um, you know, he, I believe that this will be... This has the potential to be, I'll say, the match of the night, um, and we will see if uh, if he can if he can um, hold on to it, you know, because that that's a that's a hell of a, a hell of a championship he's holding on to right there. You have, feel me? Um, but anyway, with that in mind, the champion is in the ring along with his two challengers. We have a referee who's getting paid very good to do match after match after match, and there it is. A good shot at the European Championship. And, yeah, I put that together. Or, well, that's fourth wall breaking, but I put that together based off of a couple other championships. If you can figure it out and you're a part of the roster, maybe i give you a shot. Anyway. <laughs> All right, we're back. Any hoops. Here we go with the triple threat matchup. There's the bell, and here we go. And... Rick Richards starting off on Kojak early with the brain buster. Holy shit. Just not wasting any time. And Cody Yamamoto's like, nah, come here, me. You got some work to handle. Cutter. Big cutter. And you know that he's also got beef with Kojak with the big Russian leg sweep. And Rick Richards out there uh, doing a little doing a little taunt. And look at him dropping the fist to Fury. Ooh, kick to the mid. And whoa, he almost got caught with a rude uppercut. Uh-oh. Now working on the knee. But this is elimination, so one man can be eliminated. And y'all can continue to fight. And now look at him with the ripcord into the lariat. Turning him inside out. Into the pin one. Only a one count, though. And Rick is not having any of that. Ooh, the natural with the big knees. And the Kojak on top of his opponents at the moment. And that forearm to the back of the head is what I feel helped him beat um, Cody Yamamoto, Yamamoto bleh, last week. And ooh, just had his knee cut out from under him. Cody doing the smart thing, going outside the ring, catching a moment, getting himself together. Let those two, let those two have some words. And ooh, I don't know if that's supposed to be a kick, but it looked more like a knee to the head. And now, 
Oh, hits him with the cutter, the stun gun type cutter. And the dragon suplex. No, that's not the dragon. That's the double underhook suplex. Wait a minute. Don't worry about it. Yeah. I'm confusing my moves here. Woo, he missed that kick. These two definitely have some um, history. And wow, that thrust kick caught him flush. And one, two, only a two count. And uh oh, he went running for Cody. And now Cody's going to watch as, uh, oh, never mind. Half and half. Dumps it right on his face. And yeah, oh, wow. Gets caught by that cutter. Clean. And now I'm going to throw him off the ropes. And ooh, went for something, but didn't quite catch it. Cody now has him ripcord into the knee, just collapses him. And Kojak stands up, but Cody says, I don't care. Payback is a mother. And, ooh, ooh, throwing in hands. Was able to see Rick Richards trying to sneak up behind him and give him that work. Throws Rick off the ropes. Good spinning heel kick. Turns Kojak around with the big release German suplex. Turned him inside out into the pin. One, two. And only a two count. And Cody's like, Jesus, I'm giving it my all. Uh oh, float over. Spiking DDT. That was a very violent DDT right there. And able to kick off Richards. And uh oh. Ooh. Captured his leg so he could hold all of that knife edge chop. And it's a triple threat match. My man said, I'm bringing in the toys. I'm trying to win this damn title. And Cody said, not today. Ooh. Caught him with the heel. And turnabout's fair play, I guess. Well, screwed that up. No water in the pool. One. Two. And only a two count. And ooh. If I was them, I would actually stay on one person, you know. Single arm DDT slides over into the submission. And Kojak standing back watching. And oh, now he's like, come on, you can come get some of this too. Mm. Big knee to the midsection. Has the chair his own, his self does Rick Richards. No water in the pool for that. All the water in the pool for that one though. And ooh, big shot. Rick was like, no nah, sir, I don't want any of that. And whoa, 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 there he goes. Trying to collect that arm. And Cody rolls into the ring to be prepared for whomstever is standing first. This time it was Rick. And, it, oh, my goodness. Backstabber. Mm. And we German suplex. Is it the ripcord? Ripcord lariat turns him inside out. And now has the chair. Rick is no help. Oh, my goodness. It's a lot different when you can use a weapon. He is just swinging for the fences with that. And now he has the kendo stick. And he is going to drop him on that. Yep. Oh, my goodness. Right on the chair. Jesus. One, two, and only a two count. Oh, ho, ho, ho. as he then meets his end. Well, we thought. He no sold both of them shots. Taking Rick Richards for a walk. Cody getting himself together as the natural trying to choke out the Maverick. There's really no rules. Big drop kick folded him like a napkin, but gets caught by Richards. Oh, I thought he was going for that brain buster again. No, gets that leg taken out from under him, though. Cody definitely the smallest one in this match, but catches him with the cutter clean. And now, oh, whoo, took a little bit too long, and the natural was on him. And that's by spinning clothesline or spinning splash, yeah. And the uh, kitchen sink. Rick Richards is busted open. I just noticed that. And now just pulls him into the suplex and slides right into the pin. Very well done. One count only, though. And Jesus, he caught that enziguri flush. Whoops. And now he's throwing hands. Cody is definitely trying to earn his money right here. Ooh. Mm. Hello. I'm telling him to come on. But he should have been paying attention because here comes Rick Richards with the full Nelson 
into the pin. One, two, only a two count still. And ooh, and he's gonna catch Kojak with the stunner. The lethal injection, the springboard stunner, whatever you want to call it, two count. And we're not done yet. And he caught him with that damn injury again. Pin him. <laughs> Like, that's twice you done caught him off guard with that Enziguri. Put him to bed. And now he's, I mean, the, the hatred between these two is probably huge. And there's the everybody taunt now. Hell, I haven't seen that so many damn times. Oh, missed him. Pele! And there he goes. Ripcord into the knee. Collapses him onto the pin. You see that red mark on his cheek? But it was only a two count. And Cody was like, yeah, I'm going to slide out of here for a second, catch my breath. Here goes, oh, on the chair, into the pen. Very well done, but only gets a one count out of that. And these three men are fighting, fighting. And I told you this had the potential to be the match of the night. And so far, it's only, only two matches in, but it's living up to it. Rick Richards, the champ, is bleeding profusely from that head. I mean, we're... We're like a lot of minutes in and we're only getting one count. And Cody was like, uh, no, sir, I do not want to get power bombed. Let me just throw hands. You know, when it's a two on one advantage, you know, you never know what you're going to get. And I'm not sure what he just did there. I knew what that, I know what that was. That was a kick to the side of the head. We saw last night. I mean, he had enough, he has enough head damage that could put a man away. Whew. Boy, he's swinging. Mm, mm, mm. That bridge is beautiful. One, two. And no eliminations yet. Oh, that spear out of nowhere. Cody was not ready for that, too. And Cody has been eliminated first out of this matchup. Mm. And now it's down to Rick Richards and Kojak. And I mean, Cody, it was, Cody was in an uphill fight. Both of these men are bigger than him for one. And for two, they both kind of jumped him at one point. Let's just, let's just be fair. Like, those last minute or two, they was jumping him. And, ooh, Rick Richards is in trouble now. Nope, the float over. He was going to do a DDT onto them splinters. That didn't work. Mm. And now just, oh God, just throwing hands, throwing hands, throwing hands. And a kick to the spine. And God, there's no count out. So these two can be out here for a minute. Big knee. Taking the champ down. Could Kojak be closing in on his uh, next championship here in NHW? This could suck. This could really suck. Yeah, that sucks. That sucks bad. Man, he no sold it. And I know the referee is like, dog, this is not a FCA. This is not a false count anywhere. Get him in the ring. And Rick Richards is doing his best to block, but Kojak is just on his cape. The cutter on the outside. Pointing to the sky. Yeah, I'm tired. This this voice of mine is giving out. <laughs> I'm only two matches in tonight, too. And Rick is trying to head back to the ring, but Kojak is like, hey, I want to fight. And we see Cody stand Jesus, to the top of that already busted head. And, ooh. And, ooh. and now into, oh, oh, ow, 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 ow. And now going, ooh. And now, 
Oh, he was going for that arm bar. But these two, I mean, they really do need to get in the ring. Holy hell. Well, now he's joined them in the bleeding crew. And Cody has not left yet. Ooh, yeah, no, that'll, that hurts. And he is just putting paws on him. And he is uh, taunting to the crowd, throwing hands. And the ref is just like, hey, y'all want to come to the ring? Can't win out there. And now, oh, the light went off. And I guess Rick Richards hurt. Oh, uh, he hurt something. And now, what is he going to do here? And he has the natural, uh, um, sir? Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, he, him dead. Him, that tombstone, tilt the world tombstone, whatever you want to call it. Was was just a a lot there that mm, mm, mm. and oh, back on the on the kendo stick and boy Kojak was trying to roll out of the ring again but winds up in the corner and now he's standing and Cody is watching on and oh my God he caught him with the spear that's the same move he just pinned Cody with too and Kojak. Whoa, the odd man to the match is the one that won. Wow, nobody, I mean nobody was expecting that. But Kojak, the natural, able to get his hands on another piece of NHW gold. He is the NHW European Here's champion. Here. Congratulations to Kojak on picking up the European Championship. Listen, we got a lot more to get to. And ladies and gentlemen, next up on the docket tonight is uh, a debut. That's right, but we have a longtime vet, the uh, former television champion. Uh, Alex Steele, who was not able to regain uh, throughout the tournament, losing to Yumiko. Um, but she, um, wow, I can't talk. But um, she is getting an opportunity here tonight to start back on her normal winning ways as she is facing a the debut is scheduled for one fall. superstar. Your way to the ring from Sydney, Australia, Alex Steele. Uh, yeah, she is making a, uh, you know, she's, she's trying to uh, get back on her winning ways as she is facing, I'm not, uh, I guess we call her Miss and Mayhem. From Hollywood, California, Maria Magna. Well, Maria Mayhem coming to the ring, and we'll see what she has as this match is uh, upcoming. She is a debuting superstar for us here in NHW. We are happy to have her. We have had quite a few debuts here tonight, but, um, or not just tonight, but yesterday as well. And we welcome them all, especially the ladies, because that division was a little laxing. It, it was hurting a little bit, but now we have some and um, still looking for names. Uh, for NHW in your house, uh, should it be rebranded uh, completely? Um, I mean, we would still like to have NHW on it because of the pay-per-views being as they are, uh, you know, multi, you know, men and women compete on the pay-per-views together. Um, but um, the in your house name, should it be changed, or do you guys like in your house? Whatever we can come up with it, we can we can get it done. Anyway, Maria Mayhem, Miss Mayhem, real Alex Steele in the ring. We are ready, and here we go. 
And Alex meets her in the middle with the punch, and here we go. Big back suplex there. One of the best technical wrestlers we have here in NHW is Alex Steele. Very precise in her movements as far as how she is trying to get the victory. Um, big knee there to the face of Maria. And uh, we're going to see if she can, uh, you know, dash the, the rookie. Well, not the rookie. Well, she's the rookie to NHW, but dash the hopes. And, ooh, misses with that. Uh oh Oh, the German into the pen. One. Did not see that coming. Oh, went for the ends of Gurry while she was down, but she slid out of the way. And Alex Steele showing off the gains. Ooh, as she steps on the back, and Maria's like, nope, I'm up. Now going for a walk. Going to put her on the ropes. And throws her off the ropes. A little early on the grab there, but it's all right. Picks her up and takes her down with a good wrestling move there. Goes into the pin. One. Two and gets a two count, and Alex Steele is actually beside herself, thinking that she was about to make quick work of this. And now is showing off the gains again as she steps on the small of the back and flips her over and flips her over again. And now, ooh, trying to hyper extend that elbow there. Good kick to the nose. And now showing off the strength as she just powered her up and dumps her down with the DDT. And Maria looking a little off here right now in her debut match in NHW. Ooh, big elbow right to the face. Ooh, nice clothesline. And we got a second one. Oh, catches the foot. Ooh, nice trip takedown. And now has Alex up, grabs her. Throws her into the corner. And holy. She ran her over with that knee in the corner. Jesus. My head hurts for it. And the Pele kick just sits her down. Stuns her out. And she just took the shortest way to the high rent district. And the double foot stomp. Cool as Zegra, if you will. One, two. And only a two count. And did not waste any time getting back on the attack with the perfect plex. Did not go for the pin. Probably believed that she was a little bit too close to the rope. That is a long way to fly, ma'am. But frequent flyer miles gained with that big body splash. Body on body. Well done there by Maria. Misses with that foot. And Alex still makes her pay with that clothesline. And Alex was like, nope, no springboard for you. And throws her to the other side of the ring. And now about to give her a little leg drop action. <coughs> and now has her in, in a little head with a little show off. Got to get a little show off every now and again. Ain't nothing wrong with it. And now off the rope she goes, and the big splash. And Maria Mayhem getting out of the ring, and Alex Smith, or Smith, Alex Steele. Alex Smith was a football player. Ooh, big clothesline there from Alex. And I'm talking about, like, American football. With the, they call it the pigskin or whatever. Not, not actual football as in soccer. And up and ooh down drops her down hard. We're at the count of three now. And ooh, oh, oh pump handle, just a pump handle throw. And now into the pin. One. Two. And now about to give her that leg drop again. Good gracious. And now on the top rope. Oh, went for the big splash and did not catch any of it. 
now kick to the midsection. Now working on the Oh God, takes her down on the top rope quickly too. And there's that double foot stomp again. Slides right into the pin. Maria Mayhem, will she get the upset? <gasps> um, and she does. Oh my God, wow. Um, uh, that double foot, Alex. Um, you got to talk to us. What you want to do with this, you know what I'm saying? Do you, do you want to you need some rematch in your life? Like what you need? Because I was not prepared for that. Maria Mayhem. That second f double foot stomp, coup de gras. Maria Mayhem, congratulations on your victory here tonight. We have big matchups still coming, and maybe she's a little surprised. <laughs> but anyway, let's get. And ladies and gentlemen, we have a match coming up. That's our first time. Uh, here, um, is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Indianapolis, Indiana, weighing in at 222 pounds. CK Nova and CK Nova here, um, trying to get his singles, uh, his singles life happening here in NHW. We do know that he is aligned, uh, with Infamous. Uh, which is Cody Yamamoto. Um, so we may see those two, uh, those two touch each other, or not touch each other. Jesus, don't pause. Uh, those two team with each other. Uh, but right now, he said he wanted to work on a singles career. So that's what we're giving him a chance to do here. Um, and, you know, it's, it's not a bad thing. You know what I'm saying? My man wants a, a little bit of the singles work. He did have a shot at the European title. He came up just short. Um, he might. I think he was in the final two. I think. I, I, it was just a couple weeks ago. But I still have to go back and look um, to see if that is the case. But if he was, you know, maybe that's the title he wants to chase back after. Maybe he wants to try to get himself up the rankings into the honor or into the world title picture. Maybe he wants a shot at the honor championship. Well, everybody gets a shot at the honor championship. It's about keeping it. That's going to be the fun. Anyway, um, and then after last night with that, you know, Edward Jackson, the honor champion at the moment. And uh, Kyle Reed has to deal with, um, <clears throat> excuse me. Kyle Reed now has to deal with Roger Nelson, who was very much not happy about how that happened. And there will probably be some honor championship ramifications going on with that. But uh, here we go. CK is in the ring. And I hear flames, but I don't see anything. From Newark, New Jersey, weighing in at 275 pounds, the Rebel, Brandon Curtis. And I will say that this is one of the most patient men in the all of NHW. We don't see him as often as we probably should. Um, but this is Brandon Cravas. Um, I've always said it that way. and He's never corrected me, so I'm going to continue. But uh, he's been here for a couple years. He is a former First Blood champion. Um, he held the television championship for one defense and then unfortunately lost it to uh, a man who then later on became world champion and we never saw again. Yeah, I'm talking to you, Jay Walker. I, I know you watch. I know you do. Mm-hmm. We're looking for you. You got some work to do over here. Anyway, but uh, Brandon Gravas is a bigger gentleman who also is very effing agile. Do not let his size fool you. I have seen him do springboards and it's very concerning um, how accurate he is with them a little off on the power we'll, we'll work on that but um, <laughs> um with that we have both of our competitors for this match and following this match will be uh, that fatal four way match and then we have two matchups we got a little work to do but anyway oh, missed the knee see, see what I'm saying oh disaster kick starting off against CK oh my 
CK. Whoo, threw him right over his head. And now with the bear hug. I doubt he's going to be able to get that. Uh, and CK. Ooh, clapping the ears. Popping those bad boys. And then a little sling blade action. And now has CK up on his shoulders. Ooh, drops him down hard. And now he's on top of him as Brandon crosses. He's... he's million dollar fist he's doing his thing I, I'll, I'll give him credit oh he missed that and there's CK oh from the down position hit him with that uh hit him with that uh oh CK back up I don't even know I, I forgot what move it was now <laughs> But anyway, there he goes, and ooh, into the corner, and oh, all to the corner again with another big splash, and now gonna grab him up, We're working on that, oh, oh my goodness, look at the power, the power, that was a whole suplex, ooh, and then working on the arm, trying to take all the power away from him, one, only a one count, CK Nova is very capable of taking him out, uh, with one move, you know what I mean? Um, hello? Ref, what, what the hell is that? I didn't get the, a good view of that. And he just kipped up and ran him over in the corner into the pin. One, two. He laid there for a two count. Get a little breath back in, you know. <sighs> you know what I'm saying? And, oh, sh you see what I'm saying? That tall man hit him with the springboard cutter. Uh, he didn't stay down for the for the pin, but we have seen him win with that before. Oh my God, he lifted him up by his nose. Oh, and then slapped the piss out of him. Oh, and then hits him with that. Oh, just runs him over a second time. Misses with the clothesline. Hits his own clothesline. And Brandon has been backed up into the corner. He is bruised to the tilt. Ooh, introduces him to the turnbuckle. And what's he going to do now? Up on the second rope and just trying to choke him out. The ref needs to administer a count there. He tried to, to like dislocate his whole neck. And there's that knee. Oh, no. Never mind. He went for that basement drop kick again. Missed it. And CK has him up. Oh, knee into the German suplex. Turned him inside out. Uh, he said, you're going to you gonna hold this knee, sir. You're going to hold every bit of it. One, two, and only a two count. And ooh, a double under. Oh, Death Rider. I think he's too close to the ropes. He might just be too close to the ropes, too. But he only got the two count anyway. Sorry, I had to look at something. And there goes. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Shots to the face there. Oh, and a slap. Just a nasty slap to the face. Ooh. And there we go. Oh. And throws him off the rope. And takes him around the world. But his foot is he's long. He was able to get into the into the uh ropes. And slips his leg out from under him. And now CK. Has Brandon right where he wants him. And a spinning heel kick from the top. Is... And ooh, throwing fist, fist, fist. Wow. Oh, and slaps him. Okay, you know. And as we said yesterday, big ups to EOW at EOW Federation for this arena. Um, 
Definitely, if you want some commissioned arenas, give him a holler. Because as you see, when he cooks, he... Hello, ref? Ref. So that's what we letting go now? Ooh, back elbow. And the ripcord into the knee. And has him up, takes him around, dumps him down hard. And Brandon is holding on for dear life right now. Oh, and oh, got caught with the bulldog. And now going to shoot him over, go for the pin. He is close enough to the ropes, but he did just get his head bust. And CK Nova, he survived. I mean, you saw how he was after that match. Wow. I mean, busted his head open and that bulldog was enough. But you Here's see the, the Nova. he went through it. Congratulations to CK Nova. He the one on this night. Congratulations again, good sir. And now we have a four-way matchup being contested under knockout rules. That's correct. These four ladies will be trying to... And, yeah, you know, um... Rachel here, listen, I, uh, this is under knockout rules, um, and Rachel here is, uh, is, is, uh, I mean, she, last season we had some issues and she was supposed to get a world title opportunity, it will still probably happen, but the GM has, um, some ideas, um, but, you know, right now, he's going to see if she can get this victory, this victory, you know, Victoria has, has been the champion for almost a month now, uh, she had, she got it in the first episode of In Your House, and, you know, we're trying, she, the, the GM is trying to test her, you know, trying to test the champion, um, and this is, one of the ways he feels like he can do it, you know what I'm saying? It's a four-way knock. You're fighting on the knockout rules. You know, like this is for the knockout championship, but it is not a championship match because no championship match was announced, but she is in action. Oh, my Lord. From the pits of hell. And I am so glad that I have my guard dog beside me, but the way he just jumped at that saw he might not do uh he might not do anything with that chainsaw and she's not cutting up my dog i can't i can't have all that any i don't think she would she would just try to cut me up and then the dog would follow her that's how it seems to work in my life anyway love you Paige. um but she is gonna see so Paige, when she got injured a couple seasons ago Never actually lost the the champ the women's championship. Here's here's the hilarity. Um, so she had the women's championship. Actually, no, she did wind up losing to Natalia, um, and she was not very happy. Um, but then she gained the tag team championships, and then the tag team champions. Um, wound up having to forfeit due to drama that I'm not about. She was supposed to come out last. Okay, 2K. Yep. From Chicago, Illinois, the women's world champion, Victoria. 
but uh, Victoria coming to the ring, and she is the women's world champion. Um, I mean, she's she's got that that target sits around her waist now, and she has been handling it very well. Um, was able to beat Rebecca Sue Bliss, who uh, will be on the next in your house. I had to. Well, not me, but the uh, actual boss, not the GM, had to do some talking with Mr. Stafford when it came to Rebecca Sue Bliss. She is really wanting to be in that world title picture, and uh, I don't know what's going on with that negotiation, but I guess we'll see. And the final opponent in this matchup, the one that was supposed to come out before her. I'm not doing this again. That is and Christy Myers. But how are you? A little hair change, uh, some some clothing change. You know she is prepared for this matchup and uh, trying to get herself a world title opportunity. Um, Ooh. Uh, uh. Hey, listen. If 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 the champion wins, then we we still need a number one contender. But if the champion does not win, one of these women will be getting a shot um, soon at the women's world championship. Um, might save it till the next pay per view. Might not. I don't know what the GM's plans are. Franco is a weird dude. I still feel like he's trying to get the company back, but um, I don't think Ken's going to give it up. <laughs> uh. And there we go, the four women, Victoria, Christy, Rachel, and Paige, and they're just going to start it off hot. Oh, there's that knee we saw earlier. Takes her up and brain buster to Christy. And Rachel and uh, Paige, definitely the tallest two in here. Ooh, Tiger Driver. Does not knock her out, though. And that's what we're aiming for here is the knockout. Toys are allowed because this is technically an extreme rules matchup. Nice uh, ring assisted Falcon Arrow. And the capture suplex. And oof. And now they are taking stairs. Oh, Rachel misses with the knee. Misses Victoria fully. Victoria gets thrown off the ropes. Ooh. And ooh. Boy, these, these two are... Oh, oh. Mm, takes the hair down. And those two out there, they throwing steps at each other. Ooh, Christy got Paige in the midsection. Paige down on top. Never mind, I lied. And takes... Has her up and... Oh, back body drop. And the ladder has come into play. That's a big ass ladder. And the crowd chanting, we want tables. As I see a ladder, there's a chair. And all you're trying to do is knock out your opponent. You know, and getting deposited on steps can help. Wee! And now the dog is asleep. And holy Jesus! She, the, the ladder got destroyed right there by Christy flying through the ring. Or flying out of the ring, I should say. And a nice Russian leg sweep there into the punches from Victoria. Damn! And those steps met up with Rachel's face. And Victoria over there now working on the face of Christy. And Paige was trying to show off the gains and caught a forearm for her troubles. 
And hold. That's the third time I've seen that move. Somebody gonna have to tell me what they call it. I'm gonna ask Rachel. She'll ask, woo, look out. Steps inbound. Oh dear, oh dear. Whew. Boy, I thought them steps was about to get it again. Damn. Rachel eats the steps. Victoria eats the steps. Who else wants some steps? So what's for dinner? Dun 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 dun. And uh, Paige, a little out of gas there. Mm. And a sling blade into a face buster. I'm not mad at it. Unique. We've seen. We've definitely seen some new unique moves. And Victoria was trying to get her hands on that. Uh, on those steps and oh 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 takes her down and oop and now taking Paige down nobody knocked out yet mm, Christy gets it from Victoria Victoria gets tossed into the ring Rachel gets tossed into the ring and Paige out there almost thrust kicked but then she oh my lord Rachel's head hit that uh damn her head is living on that ladder. Victoria is not, she's not, you know, hiding. That's for sure. She's out here getting her hands dirty. And this is a far cry from the Victoria that came here as, uh, who came here as the valet originally of one Jason Parker, our current reigning world champion. Uh, and his title is on the line in two matchups. And we'll see if he can, uh... Ooh, big double knees to the corner. We'll see if, uh, you know, he's got, uh, what it takes to hold on to that. And, mm. Woo, that kick. Paige is dead. But it's not a pinning matchup, and the ref doesn't think she's knocked out. She thinks she's playing possum. Them steps might help. And now lifts up Rachel and, oh my lord, hits her with a mean right hand does to Rachel as Christy is just waiting for Paige to stand up. The ref is just here for kicks and grins. What a, damn. I mean, she's moving, so we know she's not knocked out. Here comes Victoria. Christy is just, you know, right now giving out the word. Ow, slapped her in the back of the head. That's rude. Big knees, big knees, big knees, big knees. Midsection in danger. And Christy doing what she can right now. Oh, takes that arm around. Oh, my God. And a big knee to the face, but she's still standing. Big knee to the midsection. Throws her into the corner. Ooh. And Rachel oh, went for that knee again. And Victoria's having a hard time with them steps out there. And Rachel just got her head kicked in. And Christy is just going after everybody. She said, I want a shot. Oh! Takes her down by her neck. She ain't got no problem. Oh, damn, did she just drop the steps on her? Okay, no, she missed her. Woo! I was about to say. Well, she is nailing people with them steps. The problem is they keep moving. <sighs> mm, introduces her to the guardrail. And another long-ass ladder. Why do we keep these long-ass ladders under the ring? I, I, I don't get it. And now... Oh, I rake and... Oh! Hit her in the lady bits. And Victoria now on the other side. She said, I'm going to get a chair. And oh my lord, her face just collided with the steps. Or well, not the steps, the damn. Whee! And a, an assisted Samoan spike. Pop up Samoan spike? Would that be? That'd probably be better. Hmm. Hey, come back. Did they double team and eliminate Victoria? I I think they did. 
so now Rachel and Paige will both be like, listen, look at what I did. <laughs> or look at what we did. We knocked out the champ. And Rachel's asking for help. Mm. Maybe these two are working together for this match. Or starting to work together. Mm. Um, please no. Oh, big knees to the back. And Rachel, really? She's, I mean, she could be attacking Paige right now, but she's not. Damn. A little payback with them steps. Whoop, now she is. Paige turned at her with them steps, and she was like, No, Lord, I'm not about to hold that. But you will hold them steps. And now throws Rachel in the ring as Christy. And I'm not sure what all the theatrics for that kick was, but that's what it was. Big elbows to the back of the head. Oh. And the German suplex. Rip cord. Lediato. Well, I mean, we know that one of these women will be the champ's new. A competitor has been eliminated. One of the, these two will be the champ's new uh, number one contender. Will it be Paige? Or will it be Christy? Oh, ooh, Paige. Oh, taking her up. Oh, no. Oh, good Lord. Ref didn't call it. Now going back under the ring. We want tables. And I'm not sure what she's going out there for now. You know what I mean? The, the table's in the ring. Turns her, turns her around. Oh, wee! Throws her into the, throws her into the ring. Grabs the chair. Slides in. Whew. And oh, and look at that! Just knocked out Paige with that spinning heel kick to the mouth. And Christy Myers is now the number one contender for the NHW Women's World Championship. Congratulations to her. And we'll see where it goes from here. We know we got some work to be done. Congratulations again. The following contest is an Extreme Rules match. And is for the Extreme Championship. And now the First Blood Championship is on the line as Paul Tyson, who made his debut a couple weeks ago, is now on the hunt for the First Blood Championship. And I know that you thought that Trevor Hannibal would enact a rematch clause as he was the longest reigning First Blood champion probably forever. Like, he's got over a 300-day reign just knocking people out and making them bleed. Um, but what's going to happen is Trevor Hannibal has uh, an announcement to make. Um, and I'm not sure whether we'll see that tonight or whether it'll be tomorrow. Uh, or not tomorrow, but on the uh, whoo, excuse me, the next episode of Voltage, um, but we will definitely see uh, what he has going on and uh, what he can do uh, wherever he goes. You know what I'm saying? Um, so you know we'll definitely be looking at that but right now Paul Tyson you know what I mean the man said I want screen time listen creative isn't the greatest we have a lot going on we have a lot of people going on um, and uh, it, it is what it is but we will um, make it happen you know what I mean we will make it happen uh, as best we can and getting yourself into a championship of any kind helps these uh, helps that way go so, you know, here we go with Paul Tyson and his uh, 
the, his opponent, Yoshihiro Masamoto. Ha! I knew I was going to get it. Because normally I suck with names. But anyway, there he comes with the first blood championship around his waist. And look at him. Just a towering, menacing mess of a man. Not a mess. I shouldn't say. I, if I say that too loud, he might hear me help. Um, but yeah, no. Mr. Masamoto is the current reigning, defending first blood champion. Able to finally take it from. Now you want to play with your toys? Um, finally able to take it from Trevor Hannibal, who, listen, legitimately had a chokehold on the First Blood Division for a year. Everybody, like we even brought in outside people to try to beat Mr. Hannibal and to no avail, to no avail. Um, so I, I don't, I don't, I don't know what's going on. Um, um ooh, sorry about that I, I had a, a message that I had to read um, <laughs> um but yeah no uh, with this man coming to the ring um, his one match you know what I'm saying he started off with a big victory, you know, and we haven't seen that much of the first blood title. I get it, but right now, you know, we did need to get an honor champion um, on the men's side, and so that tournament started, and of course, a voltage will be held up for a vol yeah, a voltage, or maybe a specialty show will be held up for the uh, for the uh, the tag team king of the ring. You know what I mean? But we will definitely see. I think that this man right here is scary. Not gonna lie. He's huge. And I would not want to fight him. I don't care if I know how to make everybody bleed. <clears throat> that's uh Yeah, you know, that's not that's not my forte. I don't, I don't I don't think that I can uh that I can do it. But that's me. Anyway. Anyway, uh, like I said, there he is, the first blood champion. I don't know what else I was, I was supposed to say something. I was going to say something, but I also looked at my phone again. Apologies. All right, I'm going to let the man do his intros while I respond to this message before I get in trouble. Introducing the challenger. From Bad Street, Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 235 pounds, the relentless Paul Tyson. And his opponent, from the land of the rising sun, weighing in at 337 pounds, he is the extreme champion, Yuri Hiro Matsumoto. And there is the champion handing over the championship. And there's the referee who's had a busy night looking at the title. It's a little dilapidated, but it's still championship gold. Hey, kind of. <laughs> <clears throat> My voice is almost gone. That is why. I, that is another reason I'm taking <clears throat> a whole week off. And look at the size difference. Ooh. Takes him down, knife edge chops. His knife edge chops hits him in the throat. <clears throat> Man, sorry about that. And the neck twist. And now going. Oh, he was gonna go outside the ring. Damn! Caught that big boot right to the mush. My lord, he is just so far having his way. Oh, kick to the midsection. But this is also just the beginning. Holy hell with that clothesline. 
And Paul back on his feet, trying his damnedest, but the size difference might be the difference here in this matchup. I mean, but size doesn't matter when you're trying to uh, make somebody bleed. Everybody's going for these steps. The steps is just, just got to happen, right? And then you drop them. Oh, we just, we just were moving steps, huh? Damn. Never mind. And now I'm going to throw him in the ring. It does not matter where you make your opponent bleed as long as they bleed. And Paul was able to block that, but he's not able to block that throw. And now holding him up. And oh my goodness, dropping him down hard. And oh, 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 wait a minute. Hold on. Big Uranagi. And now taking the steps and putting them into the ring. And not sure what he's going to do with the steps from there. But Paul said, I don't want to find out with the big kick. And the stunner out of nowhere. And now going to take his time and get out of the ring. Is he catching his breath or what is he doing? Oh, he even got a shovel. He got a whole shovel out here. And, oh, missed him. And, ooh, clothesline takes him down. And now stomping him out. And now calling for him. And oh my god, runs him over with the knee, but is not able to get him to bleed from that. So he introduces his head hard way into the canvas. And right now, he definitely has the advantage, does Paul Tyson. Grabbing those steps, probably waiting for him to get up so he can introduce him to him the hard way. And that's exactly what I thought. Wait for him to get down. Listen, anybody get hit with some steps? Like, I commend you. Hey, ooh, ooh, ooh. And now throws down the steps and goes to the corner. Runs at him and a face wash. But he does not... He does not make him bleed off that and now he's just punching him in the face repeatedly and oh my god ran him over with that clothesline misses with the punch up and over with the back body drop is that atomic drop next uh no big spine buster only dropping down to one knee though but i mean with his sheer size my man just pulled out a sledgehammer. Okay, he dropped it. Oh, he wants something else. He wants a ladder. We done introduced the ladder into the mix. And Paul Tyson is out here. Um, look out, please. And, oh, round he goes, round he goes. And, ooh, dumps him down hard. Uh, not sure if that was the right time to taunt. Oh, never mind. He was able to break free. Grabs him up and the downward spiral on the ladder and you we what yeah we have a new Wow we have a new Champion a new first blood champion on his first defense you should hero Masamoto There you have it, new first blood champion, uh, relentless Paul Tyson. The following contest is a hell in a cell match and is for the world's 
Heavyweight Championship! And yes, you heard that right. The World Heavyweight Championship is on the line. And there comes the challenger, Brandon Ace, who has been all up in the business of Jason Parker um, during this whole championship uh i mean he did cash in and then devin harrell uh came and cost him the match but like he won but he didn't win the title and i'm starting to think that that was pointed at jason parker <clears throat> you know jason parker is a part of the forsaken with isaiah storm Jaden shadow and marcus smith and uh, Harrell has brought in his own little crew, and that could be something that he's aiming for. You know, the Survivor pay per view in a couple months. Uh, maybe he's looking to make like a, a Survivor match, which will be, you know, uh, I can't William Regal because my voice is gone, but War Games, you know, that, that will happen this year. Love the match type. Kind of don't like how they put it in the game. I got it. Whatever. Boy, I broke the fourth wall. Didn't even think about it. But this is your main event of the evening. And, of course, coming to the ring is one of the, I'm pretty sure he's third longest reigning world champion uh, behind Ray Lethal and Ben Frame, actually, who we have yet to see, but we will be seeing. <clears throat> but, yeah, Ben Frame had a chokehold on the, I don't know, probably. Ben Frame had a chokehold on the world title for a minute, and then we all know that uh, Ray Lethal had the chokehold on the world title as he did enter as the, the, <laughs> the Hall of Fame this year, um, which a graphic will be made for that after the pay-per-view, so expect that like Sunday, because uh, this is airing on Saturday, so the graphic will come out Sunday, but Jason Parker here. Um, and my dog decided to wake up and for whatever reason, you know, his tail is his best friend. Uh, like he forgot it was there, so that's a thing. Um, he's like a four month old puppy, he probably forgets he has feet too. Anyway, um, Jason Parker coming to the ring and he cannot have the help of the Forsaken in this matchup. So, you know, that's a, that's a thing that's happening. Um, and we'll definitely see like exactly how uh, how this comes together. Jason Parker has been a part of quite a few crews. He's been a part of the Renegades. Uh, he's been a part of the Pacific Savages, and now he's a part of the Forsaken. The one constant, right, is the brotherhood between him and Marcus Smith. I would not be surprised. I would not be surprised if Jason Parker and Mark Smith made a run into tag titles. Texas, weighing in at 275 pounds, he is the world's heavyweight champion, Jason Parker. And Jason Parker, like I said, I wouldn't be surprised if him and Marcus Smith uh, decided to go after the tag titles should he lose this championship today i do not like how rough he handed that to my referee but it's okay it's all right you know we get over it we also uh love showing that that is our world's heavyweight championship has been for almost three seasons now and there's a real one if you look at our twitter page which is linked in the bio you'll see a beautiful championship there and uh, Brandon Ace starting off just like he did last time with the speed. And, oh, into the DDT starting off. And, again, Jason Parker does not have any help. This is a hell in a cell match. There is no door on this particular cell because we didn't want any, any, any fight. We wanted this to be a uh, one-on-one -on -one contest to uh, determine our world champion. Brandon Ace now getting a backbreaker. Getting sprung out a little bit. And now try oh takes him up for the big power bomb. 
And, ooh, kick to the leg there. And Brandon A. sliding outside the rings. He said, give me a moment, plus. And Jason is obliging, apparently, with giving him a moment. Or he's talking crap. I can't hear. I'm way up here. Maybe the announcers down there can hear. And now he's just, that was just a throw. That wasn't even a suplex. That was more of just a throw than anything. And now he's going outside the ring to get a table. And, ooh, Brandon Ace ooh, went for the, the super kick, bricked it, and then got introduced to the steps. And now Jason Parker, ooh, chin breaker. And now Brandon Ace throwing hands, good European uppercut. And Jason walking away. Probably trying to make some space, which isn't exactly the, you know, the worst move he could do. When you make space, you get away, and then you can handle some things. And there he goes. Oh, runs him over. With that knee and Jason Parker throwing Brandon Ace into the corner. And ooh, Brandon Ace makes him miss. Able to get back on the offensive. And there's that. It, it, yeah, he must have went into the book of uh, Kyle Reed on that one. Because that flipping. Uh, that flipping on Prettier is, is never before. But there's a sling blade after a couple forearms. Jason Parker has got to be feeling it. He brought in that table and he hasn't been able to do anything with it. Ooh. And now the pin. One, two. Only a two count. And he is telling the ref he should have just went ahead and hit the ground for three. And he's pulling him out uh, closer to the middle of the ring. I mean, rope break isn't really on, so I'm not sure why. Mm, excuse me. And, oh, he caught him with that snap dragon. Got his feet touching. Got his knees touching his chest. Oh, two count administered. And there's a big Uranagi. Brandon Ace is doing his best right now. I know these power moves have to suck. Jason Parker is stalking Brandon Ace. Ready to give him the business. And there's the... For the last ride, powerbomb two. But Brandon Ace able to kick out at the count of two. And now Jason Parker really trying to give him the business, but I don't think he should be giving him time. Like, honestly, stay on top of him. Stop sign has entered the match. <sighs> Brandon, he just threw it at him? And shoots the half into the pin. I'm not sure if that's going to do it. But only a two count, as I didn't think it would. Brandon Ace back into the ring, backs Jason up. Jason able to stay on top of him. And now he's lifting up that table. That could be a bad move. Never mind, I lied. And now in the corner, Jason throwing hands. And Brandon, ooh, able to get that back elbow. The kick connects. Throws a couple more kicks. Ooh, but gets tripped up. Trying to put that combination together. And now Jason throws him into the corner. Oh, misses that Superman punch. And he gets caught with the crossroads out of nowhere. And Brandon staying on top of his opponent. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a hell of a main event we got going on here. Oh, sent him up over the top rope. And Jason getting in the, or Jason getting back to his feet, I should say. And now both men just kind of uh, getting a whiff of air. As Brandon Ace waited for him, baited him to come in, and hits him with a psycho knee. Both knees right to the chest, and little Daniel Bryan in his life, but only gets the two count. Jason Parker back to his feet, 
And Brandon Ace, oh, was able to get the best of him. Super kick to the face. And now he has him dragging him somewhere onto the table. And Jason able to get up and, no, ooh, ow. Maybe he should have stayed down. That hurt it. Did. And here's that. Every, oh, he went for the everybody knee and got his knee cap busted. And Jason gets him with the the power bomb again. One, two, three. And Jason Parker able to retain the world championship. Holy hell, what a matchup. And no interference. So you can't say that he cheated to win, but I'm sure that Brandon Ace will have something to say. Maybe he'll ask for one more match because that was close. And the first one, I mean, technically, they're one and one. Technically. Um, but anyway... Congratulations to Jason Parker. Do all the things you do for YouTube. And we, ah, screw it. And I'm telling you, I'm taking a week off so I can get everything or set up, hopefully, in the universe. And then, uh, yeah, all that YouTube stuff, we out of there. Peace.